and we see here this is a domain object customer. These are the, uh, the fields, so we have a birth date and a last contact date time. And what we have here is this date time format, that's an annotation from, from Spring that allows you to define how this field should be processed when it's created, um, sorry, converted into a string for display, for example, in your web application and JSP page, or coming the other way around when a string comes in um, as an HTTP request parameter, how it will be converted back into a date object. Um, but we see here now with local date, this nice benefit, um, local date says this is a date. It doesn't have the problem that we had in the past with Java where it could have been a date with a time, with some seconds, right? So with local date, we know that it's just a date. So we can actually leave off this annotation. If we had date in the past, we would have needed this with Spring, um, but now we don't. However, if you want to use, use a specific format, you can um, then specify it. So for example here, date time format specifying a pattern there. Um, you can be explicit if you want. Uh, the default, however, would just be to use the ISO standard for date formatting with local date or a local time. Repeatable annotations. At repeatable is a new annotation in Java 8. What it says is that you can have an annotation declared multiple times on an element. In the past, that was impossible. So who can say which code works on Java 7? Does the top work on Java 7? No. Does the bottom work on Java 7? Yes, right. So here we see we have this at schedules and then some scheduled annotations inside there. Um, that was always possible. You could have done that since Java 5. Um, but what's new is in Java 8, you can have the same annotation multiple times, for example, on a method or on a class. Um, but you can only have it there if this annotation is itself meta annotated. Remember that term? Meta annotated with at repeatable from Java. And if the at repeatable annotation declares another annotation that's the container. So then with Java 8, you have the option of either using repeatable annotations without the container or explicitly using the container. The nice thing about the container is that it works 